Hello, in this OpenGL video, we are going to be covering setting up Asim, which is a model loader on Windows using Visual Studio. If you want to set it up for Mac, the actual Asim videos that we show how to create the mesh and the model classes cover the Mac setup process. So this tutorial isn't actually about the Asim code, because if you refer to the mesh and model, tutorials within this series that covers all of that code even though I'm doing it on Mac the code is exactly the same whether you're doing it on Mac on some sort of Unix based system or Windows once you set it up it is the same so if you are doing those videos as well you can skip over the Mac setup process and just get directly into the code once you've seen this video and set up Asim because I've got the actual project already right here and at the moment as you can see ASIP is not set up so I can't use it. So first of all, you need to download a couple of things. First thing is ASIMP, so ASIMP. And if you just Google that, go to the ASIMP.org website. There'll be a link in the description to that. Go to downloads. And unless you specifically need a specific version, like an older version, go to the download page of the latest one and sometimes they'll be on GitHub, they might be on something like SourceForge, that's fine. Just download the zip file here, the source code version. You can go down the exe route, but I prefer the, the source code zip. So once you've downloaded that, I've already got it. Once you've got that, there's one more thing you need to download, which is CMake, which will allow us to actually generate a Visual Studio solution that we can run to be able to generate library and DLL files, which will be linked into our Visual Studio OpenGL project. So go to CMake, and there'll be a link in the description for this as well. Go to download, and scroll down to the latest release. And what you wanna do is either download the 64-bit or 32-bit. Obviously, if you're on a 64-bit machine, you can download 64 or 32. If you're on a 32-bit machine, you can only download the 32-bit version. Don't select the installer, just select the zip. I'll just stick with the 32-bit version. So actually, I've already got it, so I don't specifically need to download it already. Just download the correct version, the zip file. And once you've done that, go to the folder where you have it. I actually download this the 64-bit version, but it doesn't matter as long as you have the right version. Extract both folders as I have already done so. It takes a couple of minutes, so that's the reason I didn't do it in this video. And once you've done that, open up Asimp folder, create a folder here called build, and now open up command prompt. Now in here, type in cd, which is chain directory, click space, drag over this build folder, it's empty for now, but this is where our project will get generated for Asimp. Click enter. Now that we've changed directory, we need to go to the CMake folder, go to bin, drag and drop the CMake.exe, not the GUI, just the regular CMake.exe, like so. Click space, and now go back to the Asim folder, go to the Asim folder within there, and you'll be in a folder like this that has files such as the CMake list.txt, changes, credits, code convention.md, and all of these folders. And this is the actual folder that you want to drag on to command prompt now. So if you click enter, what this will do is build a Visual Studio project for us within the build folder. So if you just wait patiently for this to successfully build, once it's built, we'll be given a Visual Studio project that we can run to create our DLL and library files. So within here now, go to the asimp.sln, so this is within the build folder. So open up asimp solution in Visual Studio, and now right click or build and just select build. This can just take a moment or so, just wait for this to build your project and what you'll be given is a .dll file, which is a dynamic link library. We'll be hooking that up to our Visual Studio OpenGL project. You'll also be given a .lib file, which will also be hooking up as well to our Visual Studio OpenGL project. And 
will be including the ASIM code so we can use all of the ASIM functionality to actually set it up after this process is very very simple you will probably be already familiar with the setup process if you already have an OpenGL project set up so this is just coming to the end now and as you can see it's all successful you can close this down now so close that down go to code go to debug within there you got dll and lib files just copy and paste all of these, or just copy for now, copy all of these files, go to, where are we going? You wanna go to your Visual Studio OpenGL project, and mine is here. Go to here, I like to create a folder called external libraries, where .sln is, and within there, create, or delete this, so you can just see the entire process. So within here, create a folder called asimp, create a folder called lib within here, copy and, oh, apparently I do not have enough free space. I really do need to upgrade my SSD. So if I paste that now, that has successfully pasted over. So some of those files were pretty big. So once we've got all of that right here, what we wanna do now is go back, Go to the ASIM folder, not the build folder, the ASIM folder that we extracted and downloaded. Go to include, copy this include folder into the external libraries, ASIM right here. It's apparently, I apparently don't have enough space for it. That is ridiculous. So what I'm going to do, is just free up some space by deleting these two files. So empty that recycle bin. And if I go back to asimp, copy the include folder into external library, the same right here. So within the include folder, we have an asimp folder, which has all of the asimp code files. And now the only thing left to do is to hook this up to our Visual Studio project. So open that up in the close down command prompt, don't need that anymore. So open this up, right click your project, go to properties, go to C, C++, general. Click the drop down, click edit. And now what we need to do is click new, type in dollar solution dir forward slash. The solution dir relatively refers to this .sln file here. So from there, we can go into external libraries, then to asim, and then into include to be able to use our code files. You can use absolute linking if you want to, that's fine. If you don't know what it is, just use this method. But if you know the difference between relative and absolute and you want to hook it up in a certain way, feel free and do that. If you have any questions about absolute and relative linking related to this or anything else, feel free to reach out on our educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk, and we will help. So like I said, we want to go within external libraries, forward slash asimp, and then forward slash include. To save some time, let's copy this because we will need the same thing to hook up our library. So go to linker, general, click the drop down, click edit, and now click new, paste this into here. Instead of include, we want lib. And the last thing is to go into input, click the drop down, click edit. And what we need to do now is specify our library file. So I'm just simply going to copy and paste the name, just be easier, otherwise I'll make a mistake. So paste that into here like so, click OK. Obviously I've just set it up for debug mode, but do the respective thing for the release mode as well if you're interested in that. Once you've done that, click Apply, OK. As you can see, these errors have now disappeared. If I were to go to my model file, I can use the asymp namespace, for example. And if I run this now, this should successfully run and display a model of a crisis character. 
the nano suit from Crisis. So that is it. Like I said, this video isn't about showing you the different functionality of ASIM, creating the mesh and model classes. That's all covered in separate videos. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. All of the links that you require will also be in the description. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.